A major break today in the case of a series of stabbings. Davis police arrested a suspect after two people were stabbed to death, and a third victim is now in the hospital. The suspect was identified as 21-year-old Carlos Dominguez, who police say was a UC Davis student. ABC 10's Alicia Machado joins us live from the Davis Police Department tonight with the latest on the investigation and what this arrest means to the people who called Davis home. Alicia. Well, Chris, Laura Davis, police say that Dominguez, when he was detained, a large hunting knife was found on him, matching the description of the weapon used in the third attack. Now we're hearing from officials that Dominguez was a UC Davis student. That is until last week when UC Davis officials say he was expelled for academic reasons. Now, as for the community around Davis, people are just uh, feeling a sense of comfort resting tonight. I think I speak for Davis when I say we all have a collective sigh of relief. Relief after a suspect was taken into custody following three stabbings in Davis over the past week. Davis police identifying the suspect as 21-year-old Carlos Dominguez, arrested on suspicion of two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. Stabbings happen all the time, but they don't in Davis. Police say Dominguez had a large hunting knife on him when he was initially detained on Wednesday afternoon as a person of interest. Davis resident Carter Carter. Carlson was one of several people who saw Dominguez near Sycamore Park Wednesday and called it into police. I didn't think my tip was going to go that far. I knew that the police were obviously going to listen to it, but I didn't think that we were actually going to get him. Um, I'm beyond happy that we did. The FBI searched Dominguez's home near 8th and Hawthorne Thursday. Dominguez was detained Wednesday just a block away from Sycamore Park, where a 20-year-old UC Davis student was stabbed to death on April 29th. Just two days earlier, 50-year-old David Bro, known as Compassion Guy, was found dead in Central Park after being attacked. A third victim, a homeless woman, was also stabbed at an encampment near 2nd and L Streets and severely injured. Over the days that followed the stabbings, friends and locals have created memorials in remembrance of the victims. Friends of David Bro thankful to hear a suspect was caught in their friend's murder. We're all hoping that justice can be done for David because many of my family and friends know, knew David very well. Friends like Americo Mesa, who tells us he knew David for years, sharing this photo of the two 13 years ago. Beautiful person, beautiful soul, I hope... Uh, he is shining in the universe. Now that third victim is still in recovery in the hospital after that stabbing. But as for Dominguez, he was taken to the Yolo County Jail. His motive still unclear, but something we will continue to follow as this case unfolds. And we understand he is due in court on Monday. Our Alicia Machado live in Davis tonight. Alicia, thank you. Well, everyone's freaked out and scared. Uh, nothing, things like this don't normally happen in Davis, as you've heard. Uh, so I think there'll be a great sense of relief after today. New tonight, UC Davis Chancellor Gary May reacting to the news. A former UC Davis student was arrested in connection to this string of deadly stabbing attacks. You know, it's, it's a tragedy no matter how you spell it out, uh, no matter who the perpetrator is. So um, that's the, the core of my reaction. I'm just so sorry that someone uh, put so many people through so much misery. Two of the three stabbing victims died, including a 20-year-old UC Davis student. News the chancellor admits left him in tears. I heard his father say he thought he would be preparing for graduation and he's preparing for a funeral and, you know, I, I cried. We plan to have a memorial service for Kareem tomorrow uh, on campus. I will speak at that memorial service and express myself more fully there. But, you know, I'm a father of two girls. I can't imagine how it would be to lose a young person. UC Davis officials say the suspect was expelled April 25th for, quote, academic reasons. The deadly stabbing started on April 27th, and one week later, police announced an arrest. Uh, I think there's a high degree of probability that his reign of terror was not, uh, was not over from his perspective, but for the intervention of the good people who saw him and recognized him and the quick response on the part of the Davis Police Department. Former Sacramento County Sheriff John McGinnis says the investigation now enters a new, more challenging phase. I think on the part of the general public, there's a kind of a feeling at this point that, okay, it's a relief. But honestly, the effort now begins in terms of the prosecutorial efforts. Meanwhile, Chancellor May is focused on reassuring students and staff.
I want them to understand that our, their safety is my top priority and our team's top priority and that going forward we think that we can resume some sense of normalcy and that Davis is still a great place to live and to learn. And UC Davis has formed a scholarship fund in memory of Kareem. Money from the fund will be granted to students doing research to make sure his legacy lives on. The 20-year-old was just six weeks away from graduating with his bachelor's degree in computer science.